Hello and welcome to this video on Roman numerals. In this video I'll be using a pen and paper to go through some of the numbers and facts and in the video there'll be some questions for you to have a go at as well. So we're looking at Roman numerals uh, and today we're going to be looking at numbers that are up to a thousand. Uh, the numbers that you're probably already familiar with uh, will be the numbers up to a hundred and as were the Romans, they used symbols for their numbers, uh, with the general rule being that if a symbol was uh, lower than the symbol that comes after it, then that will be taken away. If it was greater, then they will be added, or the same, they will be added together. So here with five, five is represented by the letter V. Four is IV, and the I for one comes before the five, so that was one less than five, whereas with six, it is VI, so the one comes after the V, showing that it is five and one more for six. And that's the general rule that you follow with the Roman numerals uh, all the way up, really. So looking at the Roman numerals that we're going to learn today, we're going to be looking at 500, which is D, and a thousand which is M, uh, but the numbers we're going to look, up, look at today are up to a thousand. So, starting with these three numbers, we've got 16. We'll have a go at making some of the uh, numbers with Roman numerals uh, here. So for 16, it's 10 and 6, so we need the 10, which is X, and we need to make the 6. And we've already got 6 here, which is 5 and 1 more. So 16 would be X, V, I. 10 and 5 and 1. 10, 6, 16. For 45, we need to make 40 first. Uh, and 40 is shown as 10 less than 50. So X for 10, and that comes before the L, and the L is 50. So the 40 would be X, L, and five more, 45 for the V. So X, L, V. 62, well that's 10 more than 50, L, X. So 60 would be L, X, and the two, I, and I. So 62 is 50, and 10, 60, and then two. When you go above 100, we're now looking at 100, and you probably will already know that 100 is C. When you go above 100, the rule is pretty much the same in that 100, 200, 300, that's just C, and then CC, and then CCC to show that the hundreds are being added together. 400, a bit like the 4 when we have the I and the V, is 100 less than 500. 500 is D, so 400 is 100 less than 500. And then up to 600, 700, 800, that's the same as you get with 6, 7 and 8, except we're now using the symbols for 500 and 100. And 900 is 100 less than 1,000, so it's CM. So if we're going to make some numbers that are uh, larger than 100, we'll start with looking at 120. So 120, well 100 is C, and 20 is XX, to show two lots of 10. So 120, CXX. C, 406, well we'd need 400 first of all, and 400 is 100 when the Romans write it in the numerals, it's 100 less than 500, so it would be C, D for 400, and 6 is V, I. So 406 would be CD, 100 less than 500, so 400 and 6. 591, 500 would be D. And 90 is shown as 10 less than 100, so that would be X, C. 591. So, having a go yourself, if we have try with some numbers here. We've got 352. So can you have a go making 352 in Roman numerals?
Okay, so we'd need the 300 first of all, and 300 would be C, 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 three lots of 100. The uh, 50 would be L, and the 2 would be I, I. So it should be C, 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 L, I, I, 352. Okay, have a go at 478. What would 478 be written in Roman numerals? For 400, we need the 400 first. Now that's 100 less than 500, so that would be C, D. The 70 would be L, X, X, so it's 20 more than 50, so L, X, X. And the 8 would be 5 and 3 more. So 478, quite a long one there. C, D, L, X, X, V, I, I, I. Okay, and the last one, have a go at, is 946. And if you think about the rules for the 900. So 900 then would be 100 less than 1,000. So it would be C, M for the 900. Uh, the 40, well that's 10 less than 50. So that would be X, L. And the 6 would be V, I. So C, M, X, L, V, I. That was a video on Roman numerals from Classroom Secrets. Uh, if you want to have any questions again, uh, you can recap the video and we hope you found it useful.